Anyone can be a princess. 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 Hey everyone, it's Mona Craft Clutch, and today we are going to be making a princess hat. So now I've taken a string and a pencil and I'm working with the poster board and I have it about 12 inches between the pencil and the end of the string because I thought 12 inches would be plenty um, to make the hat, plenty tall enough to make the hat. And I'm going to, and you can watch my original video on how to make a large cone, so if you want to make an even bigger one, I have a video for that and you can click right here to see that. And I'm going to take it and I'm putting it right in the corner just to keep it easy. I'm going to work edge to edge, and all you're doing is really cutting a quarter. And that's it. And then take scissors, cut it out. Now once you cut it out, you're going to be left with this big pie piece. And what you're going to do is, we're going to create the cone with this. But first I want to do just a little bit of decorating before we actually put it together. Now what I have here is a satiny fabric um, that I bought, inexpensive fabric at the craft store, and I'm going to take my cone shape. And what I'm going to do is take some spray adhesive, and I'm going to spray it right on the cardboard. And I'm doing it right on the fabric just because it will save my table. I'm going to place it on here and smooth it out. I'm going to flip it, see how it looks. Straighten out any bumps that I have in here. And then you want to let that dry. Now, when you're trimming this, you want to leave just a little bit. This is optional, but I like to do it this way. Just a little bit beyond, and it doesn't really have to be neat when you're cutting it the edge of the cardboard. Once you have it cut, remember to work on a very clean surface and I'm going to take a little bit more of the spray adhesive and just kind of run it along the edge here. And then I'm going to fold over the fabric. So I got that edge down and repeat the same on this side and then here you might need to cut some strips because getting a curve to fold over neatly um, Usually you need to have some slits in there just so it, it folds over better. Now there's your hat and I have this round cord elastic and what I've done is I've poked a hole into each side of, of the hat and I put the cord through it and I tied a knot and I'm going to put a dab of hot glue on there just to ensure that it all stays in place. Now here comes the fun part. You want to gather a bunch of things and what I'm going to do is I have all kinds of tool and I have some ribbons and pinks and it's a dark pink to kind of offset and I have this feather boa thing, which I think I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to run it around the bottom. So it gives it that fluffy, fluffy look on the bottom. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the back so that it will be in the back. I'm going to put a gob of glue, hold it down. And then you can trim off the end once you have, have it glued on there. And then just keep doing the same thing with the hot glue, working it around the bottom. And then where it meets, go ahead and cut it. And cut it just a little teeny bit further. And throw some glue on there again, hold it in place. And then let it cool. And now you have this cute feathery part on the bottom of your cap the princess hat. And what I'm going to do with the tool, this is a silver tool and it has some nice um, sparkles on there and glitter on there. And we know I like my glitter. So I'm going to cut a bunch of it off. And 
and we want it to kind of drape down. So what we have to do is tie a knot in here and I'm gonna double knot it as the glitter comes showering down on me. And then I'm gonna feed it through and I might use a skewer to help me get it through the top. And I did not glue the top completely shut. And if you did, maybe you, you could just trim just a bit off of the top. It's not the end of the world. Now's your chance to clean this up. And you're gonna stick this in here as best you can. Take your hot glue. Mine happens to be covered with feathers and put a glob on there and then hold it carefully because it's hot together to let it cool and then kind of let it dip down because that will then you know let the top kind of hit that hot glue a little bit because that'll help keep it in the back rather than having it flying in front. Okay, once it's cooled and it's going to hold, that's when you want to take the ends of your tool and a really good pair of scissors and you want to fold them in half. Do it one at a time and where the fold is you want to cut outward on an angle. And that will give you a nice edge right here, like a ribbony edge. I don't know if you can see it. And do that on the other ones, and they don't have to be the same length. And if three isn't enough for you, you can always add more. But this is where, and actually I probably shouldn't have glued that yet. So I want to put some more, I have some hot pink ribbon. And I want to add some beads to it, and I have some white ribbon too. Now if you really want to go for a little wow factor, um, get some of this sequin twin trim, and I have it in silver, and I'm going to add that as well. So it's hanging off of the back. So you want to glue all of that in place. And remember, you can go as over the top as you want because it's a princess hat. Now I don't think I gave credit to Peyton, who was the one that watched my video on how to make a really big cone and said that she had a party for her cousin that she needed to go to and dress as a princess and she was going to make a princess hat. So that was actually what inspired me to make the princess hat. She never did send me a picture, so I don't know how it turned out. But here is the final princess hat. And here's the cording. And all I got to do is pop it on. And you have this really great princess hat. So you can just call me Princess Crafts a lot. So we will see you next time. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And do you remember, if this gets dirty, you can always put stickers or all kinds of stuff on there to just kind of further embellish it anyway. So have fun with it. Remember, this is not just for kids. You can make one for yourself. Nobody will judge you and go crazy with it because it's a princess hat. Make it as elaborate and, and beautiful as you want. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you again for watching and happy crafting. Oh, before I forget, remember, send me pictures of the crafts you're working on for what you've been doing Wednesday, but I am going to issue a little bit of a challenge for you. I want you guys to make these princess hats, and I want you to go crazy decorating them, different colors, different styles, whatever you want to do, and I want to see pictures of wherever you live, or if you're traveling somewhere, take your princess hat with, and send me pictures, and I'll post them, and let's see how many princess hats we can get from all around the world. We'll see you next time. Anyone can be a princess. Anyone can be a princess. Anyone can be a princess. Anyone can be a princess.